Hi there, this is Alex and this is my video update on um, my non-binary transition. <clears throat> this is my fourth month on testosterone and before I go any further um, I wanted to say the disc disclaimer, obviously never, um, never decide to go on any uh, kind of hormones without um, your doctor's supervision so i truly believe this should be a process that if you decide to, <clears throat> to um, go through it yourself definitely should be always supervised by a professional so yeah <clears throat> you're probably able to notice that my voice is now finally change, changing it's dropping so um, i'm really pleased about that I was wondering when that was going to happen and apparently for me is the fourth month mark so yeah I'm happy to report that my voice is finally uh, lowering um, all the things are happening is increasing facial hair like I'm getting a lot of hair down here especially I've noticed a bit more on the sides but especially down here under my chin I can really feel much more hair coming through now um all the changes i do feel like my shoulders have gone a bit broader i'm not really exercising all that much i'm trying to um uh, stick with our workout routine so i will be probably starting to work out a bit more regularly but as of this moment of course there's a lot of wind going on out there of course as soon as I start recording all noises start happening anyway um so yeah I feel a general broadening on my shoulders which I'm really pleased and definitely easier to, to kind of get some more muscle definitions I mean not much and like I said I'm only like working out once a week um so yeah I should do that more often and then I will see results but so far I've noticed that definitely with less effort that I was putting in before, now I'm building muscles more easily with less effort. So there's that. Um, yeah, um, as I also mentioned in the previous videos, all the changes, um, sex drive, that's a definite increase. Um, many people want to know about bottom growth. Yes, that's definitely also. Uh, something that is happening um, everybody's anatomy is different so um, you will notice different changes depending on your body um, obviously that's that um, what else yeah my hair on my head likely I haven't noticed any change and I hope that's not gonna start happening because the moment that I see hair on my hair head decreasing that's the moment probably I will stop taking testosterone and that will be a sad day for me because I'm so far enjoying all the changes. So I know the voice won't reverse, which is great, but other things will. Um, and that's that will be sad for me. But I, I don't think I'm willing to compromise on, on balding in order to keep the other changes. So... Yeah, that what when I will start noticing any difference on my hair on my head, that's when I will draw the line. Sadly, but for the time being, everything is fine. More facial hair, like I said, but it's easier to keep that to a level that you you're comfortable with. There are people that actually want more hair. That's not the case for me. I don't know if that will change, but for the time being, I don't want facial hair or body hair for that matter. But that's fine you can just shave you can just you know do whatever you want to do to remove it if that's not something you want if later on I, I will have to consider a uh, laser hair removal then that's also an option for me <clears throat> I know it's expensive and but rather than having to um, fight with all this growth I might consider that as an option We'll see. I'm still hoping that my voice will drop further, but definitely now I can start into a difference and I'm really pleased about that. Um, Mood-wise, uh, I haven't noticed 
too many changes. I mean, I don't know. I've always had a bit of a, I guess, let's call it a temper. I'm, I'm not saying that I'm aggressive. I've never been aggressive and I'm not aggressive now, but just more of a, let's say, passionate kind of temperament. That might be just me being Italian. So uh, that's always been there and that hasn't kind of changed. I have noticed that I feel less emotional. So before I started taking testosterone, I actually had high levels of estrogen due also to probably my day, my age, um, the increase uh, of estrogen. I'm not sure if it's something that happens maybe just before the decrease. And so I was having quite a peak of estrogen, which was creating um, a lot of like emotional states for me and I would cry really easily and cry often and that has changed so I don't say that I don't feel like crying ever sometimes I do feel emotional but it's more rare and I definitely it's much harder for me to cry and it's 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 just refreshing because before it was too much the other way around so that's another change um, I guess I do feel a bit more energy in general than I used to feel before um, psychologically um, the changes are happening quite slowly so it hasn't felt so far like things were out of control for me or that my body was changing too quickly or anything like that but I know for many people it's very important and I encourage anybody that is undergoing this transition to consider doing this in hand with uh, seeing a therapist is probably that is a good idea so far personally this is just my my experience I didn't feel the need yet and maybe I'm just being stupid but yeah if I feel that I was struggling with things then definitely it would be something that I will um, absolutely consider uh, I also forgot I'm going to add uh, two clips to compare my voice and how I changed from day one on T to fourth month on tea. Today is the um, 11th of August 2021 and is my first day on tea. Today is the 7th of December 2021 and this um, full month on tea. So yeah you can clearly uh, hear the difference you know my voice is actually lower. Um, this took four months, obviously, on the amount that I'm on, which is um, two pump of the saucer gel per day. Um, actually, I should probably show it to you. I'm just two pumps of the saucer gel. This one, this is the one I'm on, two pumps a day, and that's the changes. But like I said, I can't stress this out enough. Always, always. <clears throat> If deciding to to do a um, hormone therapy, to always do it um, uh, under doctor supervision. If you have any question, just drop them in the comments below, and I'll make sure to answer them in the next video.